Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Where are you calling? Uh, I'm calling from Saudi Arabia. Okay, so you're working in Saudi Arabia? Exactly. All right. Uh, is it a rabbit? Yes, it's a rabbit. Um, he's just a baby. So sometimes mm -hmm. uh, he just, he needs some, uh, he gets scared. So he wants to be close. Um, here, I'll show okay. him to you. Say hi. Wow. He's so cute. He is. He's so cute. Um, yeah, so sometimes he gets really scared and I pick him up so he's not so squirmy. Um, I hope you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Uh, actually, I'm fond of uh, keeping pets. Mm -hmm. In Pakistan, I had uh, rooster, pigeons, and uh, cats. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. And, uh, yes. Have you ever had a rabbit? Yes, rabbit as well. I had white rabbit. Oh, okay. Um, this With guy... This guy is a Holland Lop, so his ears come down. Like he, ah, yeah, so his okay. ears don't point up, they point down. <laughs> Great. Um, he's Great. not supposed to get too big, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. He's a big eater. So you have, uh, okay. You have only one? Yeah, just the one. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted yeah. to. But um, I've never kept rabbit rabbits before, so uh, we thought we could get one and get used to it. And since I am working from home, um, he won't be so alone. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, I can hear you now too. I couldn't hear you before. Um, yeah, so I yes. I was going to get two, but since I'm home... Right now, um, I'm working from home. We thought we'd get used to one um, and it won't be so lonely. And if I start working at somewhere other than my house, um, then we'll get two. So he's not he's not lonely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, you are in Turkey or um, somewhere else? So I was born and raised in Canada, um, but I moved to Turkey with my husband mm -hmm. in July. But I've never lived here before. Mm -hmm. Ah, so basically, your husband is Turkish. Yeah, so my husband is Turkish. My parents are Turkish, but I was raised in Canada. Uh, so now yeah, you are at the in moment. Turkey. Yeah, I'm in Turkey. We moved here in July during the pandemic. Um, okay. Thought it, it's probably the best time. So you have moved permanently, or you uh, will at go again? At the moment, again? it's permanently. Um, if something changes, okay. uh, maybe then, but for now it's, it's pretty mm -hmm. permanent. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, actually, uh, my wife loves to visit Turkey and she keeps asking me to go there. But since we are in Corona situation, we cannot go there. And, uh, there was a... TV series which was very famous in Pakistan. Now uh, there are so many TV series which are famous, but uh, the first one was uh, Oh, Kurturun. yes, Have yes. Ever... My parents uh, watched the whole thing. <laughs> yes. And uh, most of my friends watched it. And uh, they also asked me to watch because according to them, if you just watch one episode, you become addicted to it and you, you cannot stop I don't stop know what yourself. it is about Turkish TV yeah. shows. Um, it seems like everyone in the Middle East and in Russia, by the way, Russians love Turkish te television as well. Um, they, they all want to watch Turkish TV mm -hmm. shows. I personally don't really watch just mm -hmm. and the reason is because they're too long mm -hmm. like they they take hours <laughs> uh -huh. but i watched uh, two to three episodes mm -hmm. i did not continue 
I have heard so much about uh, yeah. these. Yeah, TV especially TV. with um, Arab women. They love Turkish television, especially mm-hmm. those dramas. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think mm-hmm. it's because I was like, I was raised in the American culture. So to me, like two hours for a TV show mm-hmm. is way too much. Like the most I can handle one episode for is like 40 minutes. So anything longer than that is okay. a movie. <laughs> so what was the kind of the I'm rabbit already you here. have? It's a Holland Lop. Holland Lop. Is it expensive? Um, not really. Like it's not really expensive. It's, it might be expensive for a rabbit. Um they're around like three hundred dollars. Okay. Not so it's not like really expensive. Yeah. Three hundred dollars. But you can get it cheaper in like in okay. in the Middle East and in Turkey they're cheaper. Like in Canada they're like three hundred dollars. But um, in mm. Turkey I think you can get them for like like three fifty four hundred liras which is like not that much in dollars. Okay. <laughs> so oh, how long, long have you had it? Um, he's seven weeks old. Um, yeah, so he's still a baby. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm still, he's still getting used to us. Did you want to say hi? Hi. Bataja, say hi. Oh. He's, he's just like the... <laughs> It is right? literally very <laughs> So cute. when when he's like uh, black <laughs> when he yes. has one ear up it means that he's listening um and then if if both his ears are down mm. he, he's like calm there he's not listening to anything <laughs> <laughs> Yeah uh, actually I have been thinking to keep that but i haven't decided it yet what should i do uh, because sometimes we have to go to from umbra or mm-hmm. uh, visit medina so thinking that who will uh, mm-hmm. take care of it but today, uh, during the online class two students showed me their cat and they were also very cute so now i think i cannot resist and uh, oh. i will have to buy <laughs> Um, so the cat. thing with rabbits are they're super cute like they and they act just like dogs sometimes um, this little one yesterday uh, he has pellets like these mm-hmm. rabbit food and he loves them like he's crazy for them so the the bag was on the floor over there and he goes he jumps on it on, on his back feet and then he <laughs> comes running to me and he nudges me like he's hitting me. And then he goes back to the bag. He's telling me, like, give me pellets. Uh, <laughs> ah. So he's. I never thought that they are so intelligent because mm-hmm. we have heard about dogs and even cats. Yeah, no, he, especially rabbits. for food. Like he he asks for it. Like he'll go and ask for it. Um, sometimes he'll he'll go to his little um, wow. his little dish and he'll just like hit his dish. Um, it means give me give me hay. <laughs> uh-huh. So does does no uh, he, he doesn't make, make any sound. sound. Um, he in his cage he'll like move okay. around and bump into his cage. Um, uh-huh. But I don't leave him in his cage that much. So the the, mm. the actual looking after of it is not that bad. But if you want to make sure that your house doesn't smell, you have to be really like vigilant in cleaning the cage and changing the hay and uh, changing its food, giving it fresh water. Like you have to do this every day. I spend half an hour mm. every morning doing that. I wash, I wash his... I empty it out. I wash it with <laughs> vinegar, and then I replace all of the uh, the lining, the bedding, um, and then I wipe down his cage. Uh, I clean the floors because there's hay everywhere. So um, well, you know, difficult. you spend a little bit of time in the mornings, yeah, but I, mm. I don't mind. 